I'm Courtney Silva with Salient Process, and I'm going to go over the type of head text control available in both our community and enterprise editions of the Spark Toolkit. The type of head text control using, uses an AJAX service or static list to pre-populate a selection based on the user's input. I've created a coach already, and now I'm going to go over the configuration options. So under configuration, we have items here. Um, item lookup mode, start empty items from service or items from list. I'm going to use a service. Type ahead item service. Um, so I have my AJAX service here, which is an array of all 50 states. And so when the user starts to type in a state name, it will type ahead based upon those letters that the user enters what state um, is populated. Now you can also use a static list. Um, so you would just change this item lookup mode to items from list, and then you put your list here. Appearance, there's width. Um, you can use PX, percentage, or EM. And if no unit is specified, PX is assumed. And also, when you hover over these texts here, there are little tooltips helping you. Uh, size style, there is default large and small. Label placement, uh, top or left. Behavior, uh, tab index. Um, so it's the form control tabbing sequence index and tab indices start at one and they can be set uh, sparsely. Placeholder text is kind of like ghost text that uh, helps the user with what needs to be entered. Events, you can use JavaScript logic to affect the effects of the control. Um, I'm going to use an on, on load event um, and I'm also going to use the set placeholder method specific to the type of head text control. And the reason I have a uh, type underscore ahead underscore text one is because this controls ID is just that a uh, type underscore ahead underscore text one. So when the page loads, the um, placeholder text is going to be start typing in a state name. OK, so I'm going to play the coach. So you will see the placeholder text um, that I specified is here. And I'm going to start take, typing in a state name. So you'll see, since I typed in NEB, um, the only states that have NEB in them is Nebraska. So we'll select Nebraska. OK. So now I'm going to show you how to get more information on the Spark Toolkit. So first, you want to go to salientprocess.com, then click Support. Then click Learn More About Spark Toolkits. And this will bring you to a form. So fill this out, and someone will be in contact with you regarding the Spark Toolkit. Now, once you have access to this toolkit, you can view our knowledge base um, information. We have a bunch of uh, getting started articles to help you. And all the controls have articles as well. So I hope you enjoy this video and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.